welcome to Living Shadow Tarot. How be easy. This is going to be what's to come in 2021. I don't know what's been going on, you guys. I was all cool and ready to go. And then this Mars movement and I recorded this video. And it was like everything went on hold. Okay, I just have to tell you guys the story. It's like everything went on hold. I feel like I've been attacked. Really, I feel like I've been attacked. I, you know, um, psychic attack, uh, magic, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I'm just trying to just read the cards and move, move on with my life. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why people are against me. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I literally have been barely even able to move. I All I can do is wake up and sleep and sleep and wake up. And I, whenever I feel any ounce of strength, I just try to make my videos so I can get them going and whatever. But this has been a lot. I don't know what this is. Okay. So Virgo, this is going to be your what's to come in 2021. I am selling intention candles. Um, you can get these. In the link in the description below. I'm actually burning one at this moment. That could possibly be why some things are breaking up off of me. I don't know. But, um, so your first card here is the lovers. Gemini card, choice, love here. Um, Virgo, this is also your, um, your, your, your planet partner here. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them, planet partners. Um, uh, Mercury. So you guys uh, both rule Mercury, you and Gemini, or excuse me, Ge Mercury both both rules you both, uh, Gemini and you, Virgo. So it could be something there. You have death here. Um, this could be death of love. This could be a transformation in your love life coming for you. And seven of wands. Looks like it's something that you may have been fighting or you may have been resisting. Yeah, we got eight of swords and page of swords. So something that you felt like you were trapped on, but you keep um, looking for a solution, right? You keep looking at how do you get untrapped from this? How do you unblock this? How do you, you know, um, Virgos, lots of times you guys are in mental prisons. I'm just saying it. You guys a lot of times are in mental prisons that you put yourselves in. You criticize yourselves into a mental prison. That's like definitely a, a, a trait. Um, we have King of Wands here, so you're trying to get more confident. We have Three of Pentacles here. We have Fortune. So you do recognize that you have some good fortunes coming to you. And that you have um, some things happening. I could have sworn there's a card down here. It is. Oh, the Empress. <laughs> you got some things happening for you. Okay. So, you do recognize there are some things going on here. You do... It's like you are... You're getting the pillar. Right? And it's funny because in another deck, um, the Empress is the pillar. But with this Three of Pentacles, um, they're highlighting to me this pillar right here. You're getting some form of pillar... Some form of newfound stability. You're understanding where, um, understanding more about yourself here. Um, and then we got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, that's Jupiter. So something like, like, like you're getting some form of understanding that's going to break you out of this mental prison that you put yourself in. You get some, it's, it's some form of understanding of where your confidence lies or how to use confidence that you may not have previously had. But um, you may have you may have given all of your confidence away to your lover, right? You may have tried to like make them your world in a sense, I, you know. Especially because Virgos tend to be the type that want to fix their partner a lot, so it's could be like you wanted to make them your world, and now this year you are learning how to break out of the out of the mental prison and attract what better aligns to you. Um, Queen of Swords, you're cutting out some things. Ace of Pentacles, 
This is the Strength card, Leo. Nine of Wands, Determined, and Five of Cups. Yeah, so you're determined to go to that, that energy. You're trying to find something new here. You want something more like an Empress. You want to be aligned like an Empress. I'm getting here. Because the Empress really... Um, I think this, that's like the biggest difference between the Empress and the Emperor, right? Is that the Emperor goes out to get something. The Empress just kind of sits and let everything come to her, in a sense. Not that she doesn't um, do anything, but she's Venetian, right? Where she she's just that muse life where she can kind of just kind of chill and you know just live off of radiating it in her own, her own energy. Okay, we got the tower moment. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and six of pentacles here. So something here is getting highlighted. Um, maybe you realize what you show to the world is not what you show to yourself. What you show to the world here is the Six of Pentacles. You show someone who's always giving and loving and kind, of blah, 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 but on the inside you feel trapped, right? So, you tend to show that side to the world and keep this Eight of Swords side to yourself. And that's where a lot of the conflict comes in. Yeah, Five of Wands. So then you end up fighting yourself. You have all this deep inner conflict, right? So this has been a common energy. It's just Five of, um, five of Cups and Five of Wands. So I'm getting, you know, this is the spiritual year of five. Two, zero, two, one equals breaks down to five. So we are getting over um, some complications this year. It's kind of a big hurdle of getting, excuse me, getting over some complications. But it looks like you, um, a lot of people are going through this very similar thing about them and them fighting themselves, fighting themselves, fighting each other, and a lot of emotional um, confusion, a lot of emotional withdrawal, a lot of like, um, I'm getting like codependent cycles. For a lot of different people. And this is beyond just Virgo. So don't take that as just being Virgo for that one. But yeah. And we got Six of Cups here. So there's clearly a reunion that needs to be had. And Ten of Pentacles. Emotional fulfillment. So. <laughs> three, six, nine is here. We got... Two sixes so far. So that's the number of love. Two fives, two sixes. Okay. And we got page of cups. So it's going to be a message that's coming in. Something that you've been waiting for. Something you've been looking for. With this page of swords. That could be the thing that breaks you up. Out of this eight of, eight of swords. The magician. Again, Mercury. Um, that is Gemini card. Queen of swords is also you guys' um, well, I wouldn't say it's, it's not Virgo, but it is um, the same type of energy where you guys can be in this Queen of Swords a lot of, a lot of times that you guys can be really, really icy and really, really kind of cold. But, yeah, and then we have Seven of Pentacles here. So, and again, it's one of those things where something that you have um, wished for is taking a while to get here. You may have manifested a message and it's trying to, it's taking too long to get here for you. It could be the time warp too. Okay, and then we have the Hermit card. So this is you, Virgo. Um, going with taking this year to kind of go within. I'm looking, I'm, I'm getting, you're kind of taking this year to kind of go within and to find out what it is that you're looking for. This is all about you. This is all about your thought process. Your thought process is getting very, is getting um, super examined. Coming up here. Anything else for Virgo out of this deck? Anything else for Virgo out of this deck? For 2021. No, okay. I am so sorry, Jeff. And I tell you, I don't know if this is Mars 
Honestly, I feel like somebody has cursed me, and I don't really know for why or what I did or anything like that. I'm just living my life, and, you know, I don't appreciate the curses. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to do what I was called to do, and it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm used to not, you know, doing a shit ton of readings. Like, I can do, like, two or three, four or five a day sometimes. But, and I, it, but it's like, oh my goodness, when it gets to the point where, um, you know, people make you feel like you can't do anything. Intuition, yes, intuition is going to be highlighted for you, definitely, this year. You're really working in your mind space this year. Truth and solitude, yeah. And that's solitude again, number nine. Your card, number nine. Determined is number nine for solitude. So you definitely find truth after you go within and go into some solitude and solitary confinement. Maybe that's what they have me do. I don't know, but it's it's crazy out here, you guys. Stay safe. Drink your water. <laughs> for real, drink your water. Um, be safe out here because this is a lot. I don't know who or why I'm getting cursed so bad. All I try to do is help y'all out, okay? And sacral chakra. So, again, that is your feminine chakra. That's number two. So, two, two. Could be real, real important to you. Okay. Um, but sacral chakra is your feminine chakra. It's the one that is above your um, root chakra. It is your where your intuition lies. That's your gut feeling. That's part of that. That's also your... Um, people talk about, um, people have like a female intuition that it's also your feminine chakra, so. Now, if you want help opening that up this year, I do have the sensual sandalwood candle. Excuse me, it's this one. Sensual sandalwood, okay. And this is designed for sacral chakra and opening that up and opening up your sensual side. So. You may want to check that out, linked in the description below. It's very, very easy. Just light the candle. That's it. Light the candle. Say, I want to heal this chakra. I want to heal um, this part of my life and go on living your life. Okay? All right. Well, this has been that. If you do um, like what I'm doing here, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get some subscribers up in here. Get some subscribers up in here. So it's like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you all later. Bye.